Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is a little after six o'clock on a Friday morning. I am heading down the road, not going fishing. Uh, you'll see where I'm going when I get there, but uh, got a little journey ahead of me. I wanted to take a minute to thank all the folks that have subscribed to the channel. I guess uh, we're approaching 800 subscribers and been at this for about a little over two years now, so it's been a grind, but I wanted to thank each and every one of you for sticking with us. We must be doing something that you like to watch and uh, we appreciate you doing that. So stick with me today and we'll take off down the road and uh, see what I can get into. Thanks for watching. Okay, folks, uh, we have reached our destination. It was not a bad drive down here. Uh, I am down here in Sparta, Tennessee at uh, Jackson Kayak to pick up a new kayak. Um, I won't go into details right now about why, but you are getting ready to get a first look at a 2022 Jackson Cusa HD. So let me get in here and uh, check in and find out where I need to go to pick up uh, this kayak. Stick with me and uh, we'll look at this boat. This is what I came for folks. Uh, 2022 Jackson Cusa HD and like I said, I'll explain how I got it. It's packaged up now. I've took possession of it, inspected it, uh, took possession here at uh, Jackson Kayaks in Sparta, Tennessee, and I am heading back to Kingsport now. So when I get home, I'll uh, get the wrap off of it and we'll go over it. Okay, guys, so uh, I guess my little secret's been revealed, uh, or the secret to this video anyway. It's not really a secret to the people that know me. I guess you're going to get to see, uh, get a first look at the new colors. There's only three new colors available. Uh, I've got one of the new colors on my trailer now, which is Aurora. And there is a Tiger Shark, which I have a picture of. And then uh, there is a Forest. That's the only colors available. They don't have uh, the red anymore, which was I think Rockfish, maybe. I can't remember. They don't have Battleship. They don't have uh, Wicked anymore in the fishing kayaks. I guess you're wondering why I am getting another kayak. T to be honest with you, I have more than enough kayaks. But I uh, once again ran into an issue. It's an ongoing issue with Kusa HDs that they've had since, well, Kusa and Kusa HDs since they've had since 2012. Uh, I'm going to cover that in another video. I'm not going to get into that much here, but it is uh, dealing with the seat risers, uh, the hull cracks. So, in my Wicked, I had a hull crack, seat riser, same as the one I had before. So this is my second warranty boat. Um, so I ended up getting another one. So having said that, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as Jackson here on out. Uh, I will be making a video addressing the concerns around that hull uh, and the concerns that the group of guys that I fish with have had so far. Okay folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here at home now. Uh, just got back from Sparta about 30 minutes ago. Got this new kayak unloaded. This is the Jackson Kayak Kusa HD. 2022 model the color is aurora which is um, lime green black and white 
the other options are a tiger shark which is uh, orange and black and i will put up a picture of that right now and then there is another color which is forest which is basically a camo color and i'll throw a picture up of it um and I'll throw a picture up of the Aurora in the factory while, there's, while they were building it. Like I said, I went to uh, Sparta today, Jackson Kayak in Sparta, and picked this boat up. And this boat is a warranty boat. In other words, my um, Kusa HD cracked. Uh, in a seat riser, the hull cracked. It's still under warranty. I've bought it new. Well, I didn't buy it new. It was a it was a warranty boat also. It was a boat. I had a about a used Kusa HD in 2018, and I used it for a year, and the hull cracked in a seat riser. It was a 2016 boat I bought used. In 20, late 2018, the hull cracked and it still had warranty on it. I warrantied that boat out and got a new boat, a brand new 2019 Kusa HD in wicked color. It was a bright green, similar to this, so it's sort of a lime green and black. I used that boat up until about a month ago that boat the hull cracked same way as my 2016 boat did so i warranted that boat out and i got this boat this is a 2022 boat this is the first time this should be the first time you see this color unless you've been to a dealer and you've seen it on the floor you've not seen it on youtube until you see this video i don't think because i've i've searched for it and there's the colors are not out on youtube yet so hopefully you guys are seeing this first. It doesn't look like much have changed since 2019. Maybe maybe a little. Um, I don't have a 2020 boat or a 2021 boat to compare it to. I'm comparing it to 2019 and they look really similar. Uh, starting up front, I don't really see any difference. Same type handle um, that they always put on it. You've got two rod tip protectors, which they've always put on it. You have the Jackson kayak paddle keeper, which is here on the lid. Uh, the lids are the same, looks like. They open the same. Uh, the interior looks the same. Everything looks the same to me. Uh, I don't see any difference as far as... Uh, the front of the boat i do see a difference with the little stand assist bar this is where the stand assist strap goes uh, looks like they've labeled it with jackson kayak and this used to be metal um, coming back into the cockpit still have a sonar pod which is here uh, i don't use these boats with sonar pod in them i take that sonar pod out that can be removed uh, it has a little hatch right here with a bag which i've never used the sonar pod can raise up here and if you remove that you've got a flat open deck uh, pedals look the same to me they don't look any different and they adjust, they adjust the same way they've always adjusted. Uh, Jackson Brown. One of the biggest differences I see between the 2019 and the 2022 boat is the gear track. They went to a metal or aluminum gear track, which is nice. Coming back to the seat risers, 
I don't really see any difference in the seat risers. Um, the front one, I don't know if they've redid the mold or did anything different with the mold, but um, the seat risers at Jackson have been an issue. Has two side handles, has paddle keepers on either side, as you can see. The seat is different in that um, the 2019 seat was terrible. I hated it. As a matter of fact, I switched out my 2016 seat with the 2019 seat on my 2019 boat because the 2019 seat was awful uh, to sit in. All seats before uh, last year, I think, maybe from 2020 on, folded forward. They would fold down forward. All these now fold backwards. They lay down backwards. So I don't know if that's better or worse. But the seat looks better to me. Looks more upgraded, more sturdy. Um, like I said, I don't know about the uh, risers. I just don't know about the risers. I don't know if they've done anything uh, about the risers. All my previous kayaks have cracked along the riser or between the risers in the back. Uh, that's the one issue I've had with uh, Jackson. Uh, they're good river boats, but really, uh, these boats shouldn't crack. Holes shouldn't crack. If you're stored properly and you use them wisely in the river, there's no reason they should ever crack. So, with this boat, what came with the boat in the plastic bag, there's plastic bag came with the boat, there was a stand assist strap, which is this item, which I'll never use. I put it on the boat, but I'll never use it. A Jackson sticker, which is pretty standard. Um, an Omega rod holder, which is pretty standard with their boats now. Uh, be nice if they'd put a Omega Pro in there, but they put a standard Omega rod holder. They have the, uh, the uh, load flag that they include. Um, they included this little patch here that was actually um, on the seat uh, to keep the strap from rubbing where the seat was uh, down. I guess one thing that wasn't present in the bag this year, which is a little bit disappointing, is cup holder. In previous years, I know in 2019 they gave you a cup holder that went right here in this track. Um, this track hasn't changed. It's always been metal. But the side tracks have changed. They went from plastic to metal. Uh, the seat feels sturdy. It feels padded. I mean, it feels it feels nice. I'm assuming it's going to be okay. Um, the bag here, you might as well keep it. It it's uh, this bag is worthless. Um, just being honest, the bag that they had on prior to uh, 2019 was a waterproof bag, much more durable, can't find them anymore. That is just a terrible bag. Uh, more metal tracks in the back, uh, eyelets for a uh, drag chain, or if you wanna run anchors off the back, eyelets, um, you have, uh, these eyelets are riveted, by the way, not screwed. You have a back hatch, which is um, the same. It looks the same as it uh, always looked. Um, I don't see any difference in the back, back hatch at all. Not one bit. So everything on the back is the same. You've got a drain plug, single drain plug. You've got uh, holes for a micro power pole or rudder, or um, really the best use for these is uh, 
my opinion is put up a handle on the back here because their molded handle is terrible it's uh, too big for most people's hands uh, it's awkward and uh, it's not a good handle here's uh, one final look from front to back um, i guess another thing you'll notice is uh, the old cooses i guess up until maybe last year year before they all said drew gregory kusa hd well uh, he is not affiliated with jackson kayak anymore so that is not on the logo anymore but here's the last uh walk around before i put this thing up um, that is a 2022 jackson kusa hd in aurora color that is lime green black and white like i said they'll only be offering three colors aurora tiger shark which is uh orange and black and uh forest which is a sort of a camo color but this is aurora